What's up guys? I'm just going to go over some of the stuff I use. First line, second line, um, helmet, maybe guns, I don't know. Um, this is my Fly LBT 1694A. Um, it's all my gear on this is Coyote Brown. Um, up front I have three Eagle Industries double M4 mag pouches in Coyote Brown. Um, I would show you the label, but it's a kind of a bitch because they're up high and I have to take them off. Um, Fly admin panel, which is just a copy of the Eagle Industries admin panel. I have an LBT 9034A admin panel in Coyote Brown on the way to replace this one. It's pretty much the same size, just different cut in the material. Um, on that I have an IR Canadian flag and just an IR tab. Standard 694 uh, style shoulder pads. Two Eagle Industries banger or smoke grenade pouches. Um, You can kind of see the tag. Um, I have the modular salt pack. It's a fly replica. Um, the real ones are a little too expensive for me, and it's not a really a high wear item, so I'm not worried about it being a replica. And it's it's fly quality. It's pretty good. And then I got a Paraclete banger pouch, which I just use to hold my Wuzhen or Wushun radio and dual band and USB programmable. Excellent radio, and I just use the uh, handset. Um, SKD Pig Elastic Cummerbund uh, and Coyote Brown. Like I said, everything on this is Coyote Brown. Um, that's basically the rig. So Eagle here. That'll be LBT soon. Eagle, Eagle, Fly, Paraclete, SKD Pig. Um, I'm pretty happy with the Fly 1684A. Um, I, like I said, I do own Eagle stuff um, and some Paraclete. Um, and to be honest with you, the quality of the fly is close to these guys. Um, of course, it's not on par, but my god, it's close. You, If you want to very good quality gear, um, but you you can't pay the super high prices of, you know, maybe like a real LBT, LBT 1694, which is well over 200, maybe even 300 sometimes dollars. Um, for 130, 100, yeah, around 130, you can get this Fly LBT 694, and the quality is immensely good. Uh, it won't let you down. It won't break on you. Just suddenly, it's very good, and the color is unreal. Uh, Eagle Coyote Brown and Fly Coyote Brown, are, you can barely tell the difference. Um, it's almost no difference. Um, yeah, that's that. Pretty bare rig, there's not too much going on on it. I don't like having a cover bond. I like to keep my sides clean. Um, and that'll just eventually be replaced with the LBT 9034A admin pouch, which is a small admin. It's almost the same size as that, pretty much. Um, anyway, moving on to the belt. Uh, it's the BDS Tactical Modular Belt. Um, thanks to George over there, who gave me an amazing deal on it. Um, um, and he did some custom work when before he sent it. I got the inner belt loops sewn in. I figured I'd need them, but I guess I don't because it, uh, the uh, Safari Land actually can attach right into the uh, adjustment strap. And then I just use this to help hold it down with the Velcro from the uh, belt band inside, or belt straps inside. Um, anyway, on here I have a Eagle suppressor pouch. Um, and in it I just have a KAC style suppressor. Uh, fly utility pouch, um, whatever the fuck I want, I can put in there. <laughs> Unknown dump pouch, um, I don't give a fuck, it works. Uh, open top fly M4 mag pouch, and then I have these double pistol mag, or yeah, double pistol mag pouch. Um, I want to replace it, I'm not sure what I want to get, Blue Force gear, or I don't know, you guys can recommend decent uh, mag, or pistol mag pouches for sig 226 mags that would be great um, all that's in Coyote Brown except for the Safari Land 6004 regular old mechanics gloves they're fucking dirty as shit as you can tell they're not really white anymore um, helmet is the Mitch 2000 um, it's a replica but uh, on it I have the ops core and VG mount um, IR tabs, call sign, uh, I have one on my vest too. They're made by Peros Designs uh, on Airsoft Canada. They're excellent, they work well. 
um, ACR Acer MS2000 strobe. Um, inside of it, I have the Opscore H nape. It's pretty cool. On the back, uh, that's a custom counterweight pouch that I made. <laughs> um, I ran out of thread on the bottom, so I had to use shitty non mill spec thread, sadly. Um, yeah, uh, Mitch 2000 goggle retention straps. Uh, it's very simple. Has a bit of a snakeskin paint job to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty nice helmet, I guess. I like the Mitch 2000 over any other helmet. Um, it's nice. But that's a basic overview of the uh, overview of the gear I use. We use multicam, two spec combat tops and pants. However, I don't have mine here. They're in my car. Um, yeah, that's it. Secondary is a KJW226. It has a GMP M3X on it. Right. Um, yeah. Um, for my rifle, just a GMP Mark 18 Mod 1 Defender, uh, Pack 4, M3X, KC Vertical Grip, EOTech XPS 3, KC Flip Up Rear BUIS, Crane Stock or Slap Mod Stock, Tango Down Grip. I have a dual switch on the other side with the KC uh, rail cover. Uh, I don't use a front flip up. I like to have my laser, the box, the pack, pack four all the way up as far as I can get it. And I use a 9.6 GMP uh, crane stock, slot mod stock battery. It's pretty sweet. Boots are Rocky C4 trainers and upstairs. I don't have them down here. I have Garmont Zenith GTXs, which are unreal. And then I just have a backpack <laughs> for my gear. Um, funny thing about this vest, I have another one. It's just blank though. Um, <laughs> I did an order a couple months ago. I don't know why, but my order came and so did a 1694 that I did not order. That's a $130 item which they accidentally sent me. And in Coyote, Coyote Brown, so. I wasn't going to complain or say shit about it. I got it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> so I have uh, another 1694 which is just empty. Um, I'm not worried about this thing ever ripping or tearing or breaking because it is extremely good quality, but in the sad situation that maybe something does happen to it, I have a backup. Or maybe I'll just set it up differently. I'll have two vests and one set up differently. I do love the 1694 cut, 1694A cut. Uh, fits extremely well, extremely comfortable. Um, yeah. Cock balls.